Can you name this song? I know. Why should I care? Please don't bother trying to find her. Find her. She's not there. English group The Zombies got to number 2 on the US Billboard Hot 100 in 1964 with She's Not There. And in today's quiz we will go through another 60 years of songs that peaked at number 2. Each song within this quiz must have reached number 2 in at least one of the United Kingdom or United States without ever topping charts in the other. I've chosen this criteria largely because YouTube analytics show that most of my viewers are from these two countries but they are also by far the easiest for me to research. It is still ultimately a guess the song and name the artist music quiz. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! How does it feel? Like a rolling stone. We begin with Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone, which got to number two in the US but peaked to number four in the UK. Nobody needs your love more than I do. Nobody. Nobody Needs Your Love was a UK number two for American singer Gene Pitney, with the song not charting at all in the US. The Kinks' Waterloo Sunset got to number two in the UK but did top the Dutch charts. My love is strong, you see, I know you'll never get tired of me. Oh, baby. I'm gonna make you love me. Ooh, yes, I Diana Ross and the Supremes and The Temptations collaborated in 1968 to hit two in the US and three in the UK with I'm Gonna Make You Love Me. Green River was one of seven Creedence Clearwater Revival songs to peak at number two on the US charts, with the band never reaching number one there. In the street, smiling from my head to her feet. I... Right now, baby, it's all Right Now by Free got to number four in the US, although it did get to number one in Sweden and Denmark. Well, could you estimate how many? Eight or nine. Just wonder, did you ever? Nancy Sinatra and Lee Hazelwood collaborated for a number of songs, including 1971 UK number two, Did You Ever? Walking on Snow White, New York's a go go, and everything tastes nice. Despite managing to get to number two in the UK, David Bowie's The Gene Genie didn't chart any higher than number 71 in the US. Wings got to number 9 in the UK with the 1973 James Bond theme song, Live and Let Die.
Although it reached number two in the UK, this town ain't big enough for the both of us didn't chart at all in the US for American group Sparks. How did you know I'd give my heart gladly yesterday? You sex a thing, sex a thing, you. I believe in miracles. Probably Hot Chocolate's best known song, You Sexy Thing, didn't seem to top any charts but did get number two and three in the UK and US. I spent all my years in believing you, but I just can't get no relief. Find me. Queen Somebody to Love peaked at number 13 in the US charts, but did reach number 1 in the Netherlands. Reaching two in the US and seven in the UK, Nobody Does It Better by Carly Simon was another theme song to a James Bond film, this time The Spy Who Loved Me. Guess mine is not the first I'm hopelessly devoted. Olivia Newton-John top charts in Belgium, Canada, Ireland and Netherlands, but Hopelessly Devoted to You only got to number 3 in the US and 2 in the UK. I believe in angels. I had a Although ABBA only got to number two in the UK with I Have a Dream, the song did reach number one with a Westlife cover in 1999. Despite only reaching 2 and 5 in the UK and US, Master Blaster did top charts in Switzerland, Sweden, New Zealand, Italy and Austria for Stevie Wonder. The Go-Go's We Got to the Beat didn't chart at all in the UK, but was listed as one of the songs that shaped rock and roll. After Tainted Love, Soft Cell's best charting single was 1982 UK number 2, Torch. Whilst Keep Feeling Fascination did top the US dance disco charts, it only reached number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 for Human League. Borderline was Madonna's first US top 10 hit where it reached number 10 in 1984. 
Reaching two in the US and five in the UK, Burning Heart by Survivor was part of the Rocky IV soundtrack. Been thinking about you, I just couldn't wait to see Sometimes was a big hit in Europe for Erasure, although it did not chart at all on the Billboard Hot 100. Love is ended before it's begun. When I fall in love. Rick Astley got to number two in the UK charts with a cover version of When I Fall in Love, originally by Jerry Southern and Victor Young in the early 50s. English band Breathe did better in the US charts with Hands to Heaven in 1988, although it did still get to number 4 in the UK. Another English band with James, although 1989 hit Sit Down didn't perform too well outside of the UK. Cradle of Love was a worldwide top 10 hit for Billy Idol, however only reached number 34 in the UK charts. Can't Let Go was Mariah Carey's first charting single not to top the Billboard Hot 100, although obviously still managed to get to number 2 there, and it did reach number 20 in the UK. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner Under the Bridge reached number 13 in the UK for Red Hot Chili Peppers, but it was their first top 10 hit in the US. Tony Braxton's Breathe Again peaked at number two in a host of countries and number three in the US. The only country it got to number one was Zimbabwe. I was bruised and battered, I couldn't tell what I felt I was. Reaching two in the UK and nine in the US, Streets of Philadelphia won a number of Grammy Awards for Bruce Springsteen. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. Arguably, Oasis' biggest song, Wonderwall, never got to number one as it reached number eight in the US and was kept off the top of the UK charts by Robson and Jerome. Welsh singer Donna Lewis got to number 5 in the UK and 2 in the US charts with debut single I Love You Always Forever.
Peaking at number 2 in the UK and Ireland, Picture of You won Ivan Novello's best original song for Boyzone. We're still together, still going strong. You're still the one I run. Canadian singer Shania Twain topped the Australian charts with You're Still the One, but got to number 10 in the UK and 2 in the US. Is the beating of your heart. I can feel you breathe, it's watching over me. Released in 1999, Faith Hill's Breathe was voted the Billboard Best Song of the Year 2000, despite only peaking at number two. S Club 7 got to number 2 in the UK with Reach, a song that didn't really perform well in any other charts. A song that I can sing my own company. You've got stuck in a moment and now you can't get out of it. Although U2 stuck in a moment was a worldwide top 10 hitting number 1 and 2 in a few countries. It didn't get any higher than 52 in the US charts. Justin Timberlake's debut single Like I Love You was a top 10 in many countries, but not quite in the US where it got to number 11. Black Eyed Peas top charts in at least 17 countries with a shut up, although it peaked at number 2 in the UK and didn't chart at all in the US. Don't know where it goes, but it's on the me and I walk along. Boulevard of Broken Dreams was Green Day's highest charting song on the Billboard Hot 100, and it also reached number 5 in the UK. Photograph by Nickelback in 2005 got to number 2 in the US but only 18 in the UK. Gwen Stefani and Akon peaked at number 2 in both the UK and US as well as Canada, Australia and Norway with A Sweet Escape in 2006. Timberland and One Republic top charts in at least 16 countries, but peaked at number 2 and 3 in the US and UK. Better in Time was a worldwide top 10 for Leona Lewis, but only got to number 11 in the US. Day, the 
You Belong With Me was Taylor Swift's first of currently eight songs to reach number two on the US Billboard Hot 100. Riding Solo charted highest in the UK for American singer Jason Derulo, with a song reaching number 9 in the US. English singer Ellie Goulding only managed to get to number 49 in the UK charts with lights in 2011. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. And you let her go. One hit wonder, Passenger, top charts in at least 20 countries, but only got to 2 and 5 in the UK and US with Let Her Go. This party looks wet. Let's take it back to straight hip hop and start it from scratch. I'm about to bloody this check up, everybody get back. Reaching 2 and 3 in the UK and US, Eminem's 2013 Berserk uses samples of The Stroke by Billy Squire and Fight for Your Right to Party by The Beastie Boys. Boy, look at me in my face. Tell me that you're not just about this bass. Uh, you really think I could be replaced? Nah, I come from outer space. And I know you're Megan Trainor's follow-up to number one single All About That Bass was Lips Are Moving, which still managed to get to number two in the UK and four in the US. Ed Sheeran's Bloodstream originally only got to number 60 in the UK charts before a rudimental remix saw the song eventually get to number 2. Peaking at number 2 in the UK and 4 in the US, the collaboration between Fifth Harmony and Ty Dolla Sign has seen Work From Home gain over 1.4 billion Spotify streams. Meant to be was a number two hit in US and Australia for BB Rexa and Florida Georgia Line. Ariana Grande hit two and three in the UK and US with No Tears Left to Cry, a song which won an MTV award for best pop video. Despite having over 2.6 billion streams on Spotify, Dua Lipa's Don't Start To Now didn't reach number one in either country. I'm not your friend or anything, then. 
Therefore I Am topped charts in 7 countries but only got to number 2 in both the US and UK for Billie Eilish. Oh My God seems like one of the few Adele songs not to top the charts, although it came pretty close at 5 in the US and 2 in the UK. Rihanna's Lift Me Up got to 3 in the UK and 2 in the US, although it did top charts in South Africa, Switzerland, Hungary and Belgium. Although it only got to number 18 in the UK, Snooze by Caesar won a Grammy for Best R&B Song. And we end with Million Dollar Baby by Tommy Richman, which at least at the time of recording has peaked at number 3 in the UK and 2 in the US. So that's the end of this 60 Years of Songs that peaked at number 2 quiz. How did you get on with this one, and are there any songs that you're surprised didn't get to number 1, or indeed any that you can't believe got as high as number 2? Let me know in the comments, and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe for that bonus point. Thank you very much for playing along, and I'll see you again soon for another Squeeze.